Hey everyone, welcome to Online Education Academy ZA. On today's lesson, we'll be doing exponent. We'll be calculating an exponent, exponents actually, using for loops in C++, right? So let me quickly zoom in so that everybody can easily see the screen. Okay, we'll start. So we're calculating the power of a number. So we'll start by saying hashtag include iostream. Okay, hashtag include cement. Th this one is not um, required, right? You can just say hashtag include iostream using namespace std. It's going to be fine. It's still going to work. So we're going to say int. So we're going to create a function, an integer function. So we're going to say int integer power, right? Because we want the power of that integer number. So the integer power function will take two parameters. So, so it will take two parameters inside the brackets. So these parameters are parameters that you need for an exponent. So it's going to be an int base. For an exponent, for you to have an exponent, you must have a base of a number. And then it's going to be int exponent. Then we, and the exponent, right? So, and then inside the function, then we'll have an integer result. So this will, will hold the results of the two ex exponents. So it's equals to one initially, right? For int i is equals to zero. So zero is our starting point. Then as long as i is less than the exponent, increment i, i plus plus. Right, so this will, will start from position zero. Position zero should be the first one, then position two, position three. The, as long as it's less than exponent, then it must display i. So okay, then i plus plus. So this this looping condition it means that that when you put two to the power two, for example, it's going to loop. Two times, it's gonna say two times one. Two times one, then it's two. The first one, the first results, then it's gonna say two times two, then it's going to give you four as the results, which is the power. Right. So okay, it's gonna when you say three times three, it's gonna repeat three three times. Right. So we we got it there. So results is equals to results times base. So the results that we are getting, we're timesing it by base, by base, by base. Because for, for an exponent to happen, the base needs to times by the number of what? Of exponent, right? So because if, if you say three to the power four, it must be three, three times three times three times three like that. So that's why results is equal to results times space. Then we return the results. After that, then this is our function. This, that's how it works, right? Then we have int main. Inside our main function, we have int base, base, and exponent. So we'll ask the user to enter a base number and press enter to continue end line then the user will enter the base see out enter the exponent of the number end line then the user will enter the exponent so after the use the user has entered the two the base and the exponent then after that we'll see them see out the base see out base this will this will this will take the the base number that the user has entered. If 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 the first number that the user entered is three, three will be here. Three to the power of and then exponent. And then the and then the second value, which is the exponent, will be here. Okay, right. After that, we're going to output C out integer power. Then we're gonna call our function there. We called our function integer power. So integer power, it takes two 
parameters, which is the base and the exponent. We'll call the base and the exponent. Then this should work just fine. It should work just fine. For example, enter a base number and press enter to continue. 3. Enter the exponent of a number. 3. 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 27. Let's check another another one. We'll run, we'll run again. Okay, we're still, we're still building. Then it's fine. Then we run. Let's check another one. We can say... Maybe two to the power, maybe three, ne? We should get eight. Two to the power of three is equal to eight. So it works perfectly. Two times two times two, it gives you eight. So this is how you can use for loops to find the exponent of a number. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to subscribe on Online Education Academy, ZA for more learning content.